Beginning with the Blue Wave block party that's rolling through Odessa tonight, the Young Democrats put on this event to let local candidates have another chance to speak with the community. Fox 24's Haley Brooks attended the event and she joins us live in studio now. Haley, how are these Democratic candidates feeling about heading into November? Horace, they're feeling confident. Many of the candidates I spoke to, as well as residents at the event, feel like this is the year Texas will turn back to a blue state. The more I've talked to people, the more I realize that even in West Texas, we're not quite as red as everybody thinks we are. I remember when this state was blue, and in the mid 80s is when it flipped to red. That, you know, I know that we're blue at heart. As Democratic candidates stared down the November election, they are unfazed that Texas is historically red. Early voting totals, when they've been high, have historically benefited the Democratic Party. So I'm hopeful and We'll just keep plugging away until the last vote is cast and counted on November 6th. Along with the big races, many local candidates made an appearance. Peggy Dean is running for the at-large position on Odessa City Council. You'll recall this position was added to the ballot after a large petition bypassed the City Council. The uh, petition to get this on the ballot, to add another City Council member, that position was signed by over 3,000 Odessans. So this is the opportunity to see democracy at its finest. They signed the petition and now it's on the balance, so we just have to vote for it. Dean is encouraging voters to not vote a straight ticket because we'll bypass all the propositions, which includes the at-large seat. If you do vote a straight ticket, go ahead and page through the ballot till you get to the back to the propositions, or else you won't even have an opportunity to vote on this. So. I did reach out to the Republican headquarters here in Odessa to see if they have any events coming up, and I have not heard back. Horace, back to you.